Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to call the sign up and the login API in Angular. So let's get started. You can see here the auth service. First of all, I'm going to inject here the HTTP client in the constructor. On the top, I'm going to declare here the variable that is a base URL. In this variable, I'm going to store the URL of the Spring Boot application. Let me create the method that is a sign up. Inside the argument, it will receive an object of the user. So it will be a sign up request. That is the type of any. And here I'm going to add the observable. Inside the method, I'm going to call here the HTTP and the mapping that is a post. Inside the argument, we need to define here the URL of the sign up API. So first we need to call here the variable that is a base URL. And after that, I'm going to define the URL of the sign up API. That is a slash API slash auth slash sign up. After the URL, we need to pass here the sign up request object. After the sign up, I'm going to get here the second method that is a login. Inside the argument, it will receive an object of the login request. Let me add here the observable that is the type of any. And here I'm going to call the HTTP and the mapping that is a post. We need to pass here the URL of the Spring Boot application. And after that, I'm going to pass here the URL of the login endpoint that is a slash API slash auth slash login. After the URL, we need to pass here the object that is a login request. Let me add here the return. Let's go to sign up component.ts inside the constructor. I'm going to inject here the auth service. You can see here the method that is a on submit. We are calling this method on the on click event of the button. Inside the on submit method, we need to compare the password with the confirmed password. If both will match, then we need to allow the user to sign up. Otherwise, we will show here the error snack bar with the message that is the password does not match. After the auth service, I'm going to inject here the snack bar from the Angular material. You can see the imports of the match snack bar. Okay, so inside the on submit method, I'm going to call here the reactive form variable that is a sign up form and the method it will be a get inside the ports. We need to define here the input that is a password and we need to get the value of this input. Let me declare here the variable to save the response of this. So it will be a password. Let me copy the line and here I'm going to update the input that is a confirm password. Let me update the variable name that is a confirm password. After getting the password and the confirm password from the reactive form, I'm going to add here the condition where we need to check if the password not double is equals to confirm password. Then we need to call here the snack bar and it will be a open. First, we need to pass here the message that is a password do not match. And after the message, I'm going to add here the button that is a close. We also need to define here the duration that is a five seconds and the last property that is a panel class and it will be a error snack bar. After this, I'm going to add here the return. If the password and the confirm password matched, then we need to call a method from the auth service that is a register. And inside the argument of the method, we need to pass here the sign up form values. Let me call here the auth service and the method that is a sign up. Inside the argument, we need to pass here the form values. So let me call here the reactive form that is a sign up form and the method that is a value. Let's subscribe this. And I'm going to save the response of the API into this variable that is a res. And here I'm going to add the console.log to print the response in the console. And after after that, I'm going to add the condition where we need to check the response dot user ID not is equals to null. Then we need to show here the success neck bar with the message sign up successful. Let me add here the button that is a close and the duration over here that is a five seconds. And we also need to navigate the user to the login page. So let me inject here the router inside the constructor. You can see here the import of the router that is from at the right angular slash router inside the if I'm going to call here the router and the method that is a navigate by URL. Let me define here the URL of the login page that is a slash login. After the if I'm going to add here the else condition where we need to show the error snack bar with the message sign up field. Let me add here the button that is a close and here I'm going to define the duration of the snack bar that is a five seconds and the panel class that is a error snack bar. 
So you can see the implementation of the on submit method. Let's go to app module.ts. Let me inject here the HTTP client module. You can see the import of the HTTP client module. After this, let's go to Spring Boot application and you can see here the auth controller. Let me add here the annotation that is the at the rate cross origin. And here I'm going to add the static. It's mean we need to allow all the requests that will be coming from the front end. Let me stop the application and rerun. And you can see application started successfully. Let's go to UI. Let me open here the inspect. Let's go to network tab. Let me fill the form. First, check the implementation of the password and the confirm password. Let's click on this sign up button and you can see the snack bar that is the password do not match. Let me make it correct. Let's click on this sign up button and you can see here the snack bar that is a sign up failed. Try again. Let me check what is the issue. You can see the request in the network and you can see the status code that is a 201 created. Let's go to response tab and you can see the response of the API where we are getting the user object. Let me check why we are getting the error snack bar. Let's go to sign up component.ts. Okay, so here we need to check the response.id instead of response.userid. Let's save this. Let's go to MySQL database. Let me refresh the users table. Let me delete the employee. And you can see here we have only one row in the users table. Let's go to UI. Let me add here the details of the employee again. Let's click on the sign up button. And you can see here the snack bar that is a sign up successful and it also navigates us to the login page. You can see here the response in the network and you can see here the status code that is a 201 created. After calling the sign up API, I'm going to call here the login API in Angular. So let me copy the code. Let's go to login component.ts. Let me paste inside the on submit method. Let me inject here the top service. After the service, I'm going to inject here the snack bar. That will be a from match snack bar. So from the off service, I'm going to call here the method that is a login. And inside the argument, we need to pass here the login form values. Let me remove this line. And here I'm going to update the snack bar messages. First, we have login successful. And inside the else condition, I'm going to update the error snack bar message that is a invalid credentials. Let me update the if condition where we need to check if the rest dot user ID not is equals to null. Then we need to show this snack bar. Otherwise, we will show here the error snack bar with the message invalid credentials. Let's go to UI. Let me open here the inspect. Let's go to network tab. And here I'm going to add the credentials of the admin. Let's click on this login button. And you can see here the snack bar that is a login successful. And you can see here the response where we are getting the JWT user ID and the user role that is the admin. Let me clear the network. And here I'm going to add the credentials of the employee. Let's click on this login button. And you can see here the snack bar that is a login successful. And you can see here the response of the API in the network with the JWT user ID and the user role that is the employee. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. Take care. Bye.